I love football, man. It's, 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 it's more than just a game for me, man. I get to do what I love, I'm blessed. So like for me, I don't ever want to take a game, practice, anything for granted. So when it just comes to game time, like my whole mentality changes, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's like I cry, but like it's just excitement. Like I'm, I'm getting ready to go like be activated, but it's just more so like I just go out and dominate and win and have fun, man, and just wreak havoc. And I think those like are the biggest things that just I won't be denied, you know what I'm saying? So that's what gets me to that mind space of why I get in that mold before games. He's been everywhere for Houston. And Anderson trips him up. A sack for the Terminator. Jackson sacked. And it's Anderson trapped in the backfield and brought down. Will Anderson, the rookie, makes the play. Honestly, I try my best to sleep at night. It's so hard because all I'm doing is dreaming. Like, I'm just dreaming about the game, thinking about making plays, having fun with my teammates. I listen to like 90s R&B, Whitney Houston, all of the, like all that type of music, like Drake, Brent Fires. Like I listen to like all that type of music before the game. It, I don't know, it just fires me up somehow. Like I, I honestly, like I can't, I really can't explain it. Like it gets me like, it gets me going. But it's just like when I start walking into the stadium, I think that's when it starts turning on. And I, once I see that helmet and those shorter pads, it's like a little like, like a switch, it just flips. Will Anderson gets him again! Back to back sacks! I ain't gonna hold you. Last year, <laughs> last year was don't mess up <laughs> um, and just get off the ball. Honestly, like, I can honestly truly say that. Like, that was my whole thing, like, last year, like, get set, get off the ball. What are some of those moments that stood out to you last season? Were you like, man, I'm gonna remember this? I would say the playoff game against the Browns. Playoff football is back in Houston, Texas, as your Houston Texans host the Cleveland Browns. Those type of games right there get into that stage. 24-14, Texans lead with 43 seconds to go in the second. It was just like, bro, you here. Cleveland with a second and 10 at the Browns, 44. Like, what you finna do with this opportunity? Like, what you finna do with this one play that you get? Honestly, man, I'm just getting off, and whatever happens, happens, honestly. Flacco with the pressure on. Flacco's gonna go down, he's sacked. And that's it, domination, as the sensational season continues. Welcome to the 2024 NFL Honors. It was just a blessing to be there, you know what I'm saying, to be one of the top rookies in the league, so young, to come in and, you know, do what I did. Whatever happens, an award doesn't define me, like, win or not. It was a goal of mine, of course. And I was just sitting in the seat, and, like, my mind was just blank. Like, I wasn't thinking about if I won, if I lose. I was just letting like everything take place. And the 2023 AP Defensive Rookie of the Year is Will Anderson Jr. It was nothing that I like. I imagined how the season would go, but God made it happen, man. And it was just a blessing to receive that award. And I think this year is going to be even better just because of the knowledge that I have now. I'm super excited, man. I, I can't wait, honestly. But I'm just ready to see the improvement and see the growth from last year to this year. We had it to my first football camp at a park where I grew up at, J.P. Mosley Park. This is Kevon. We grew up together. Yeah. 1038. He kind of the reason why I'm like the way I am now. And then y'all know Ali. I was like, you gonna say what's up? <laughs> It should be about right. A lot of days, my mom had to drag me at the house. Didn't want to go to practice, but have fun at practice, man. Um, I think at that stage, everything was just going out there, having fun, man, and just competing, you know what I'm saying? But just having time with my friends, and eating snacks after practicing everything and just talking about everything. So 
Those are kind of like the stuff I remember growing up and playing football there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. When I say hit, we're going to take a break. We're going to, uh, all right? You ready? What? Hit. Ah. Oh, we got a loud one. We got a loud one. Hit. Ah. I can't hear you. Hit. Ah. There we go. Let's go. High five. High five. Let's work, baby. Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. We're going to be right here. Good football position. And I'm boom, 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 boom. I'm sprinting and I'm getting out, all right? He ready to go. He itching. Boom, 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 boom. Come back, come back, come back. Tap, 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 tap. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Good work, good work, good work, good work, good work. There we go. There we go. You know, I wanted to do something in my community because growing up I didn't have that, you know what I'm saying? So with this platform, I wanted to be a blessing to others and be able to show guys from this town that, you know, that they can make it to the league. If they do what's right, put the hard work in and make sacrifices. So it's a blessing to be here and be able to give back to those guys. What's up, man? That's your teammate. Who y'all play for? Trojans. What's going on? Will. What's your name? Noah. Everybody. This Noah. Down. Set. Go. Boom. Boom. Oh, keep your head up. Keep it. Keep your head. Up. Ali, hold this back. I'm gonna go get the other one. We're gonna have some competition. All right. Who get to the back the fastest? Are you Mark? Hold on. Ah, oh, don't cheat. Don't cheat. Stay right there. Down. Set. Hut. Woo. Ooh. Hey, I'm betting on y'all all the time. It's okay. Say, huh? Ooh. Hey, that's mine. Hey, hey, that's me. That's me. Let's go. Ooh. Ah. You know, today I'm just hoping that the kids, they really just get to be themselves and they really just get to see how many guys can make it, you know, from this area, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, what it takes to be great what it takes to make it and how to make it. Just taking life lessons, but also a little bit of technique, but more so just going out there, having fun, and just seeing that anything is possible when you put your mind to it. Hey, everybody, eyes up, eyes up. I just want to appreciate y'all, man. I just want to tell y'all, man, enjoy this, have fun, bro. Don't put too much stress on yourself, man. Um, go outside, play, have fun, man. This is the biggest thing. It's not about how big your house is, what type of car you got. It's about giving back to the community or where you started from, bro. And everybody in this town can make it with hard work, sacrifice, listening to your parents, going to school, doing your homework, having good grades, all that stuff. So man, I thank y'all for coming. This is Will. If you know anything about Will, he's a loving person, he's a nurturing person. His hunger, his determination, his drive, you know, he only talked about the highest level of everything. He was one of the ones that didn't want a spring break, didn't want a fall break, didn't want a Christmas break. Any day off was a bothering to him. And so, therefore, the work that we'll put in is obviously is paid off. <laughs> one day was good, though. How bad it was. Right? Yes, sir. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you. How's everything? It's going good, going good. Being able to support Will and, and, and putting on his first camp ever, you know, it's, it was important to me. And then I, you know, don't want to let him down. And everybody sees what he does on the football field, but if you get to know him, he's even better off the field than he is on the field. Charlie is going to say a prayer for us, and that's really big. I'm really big on my faith, and I actually appreciate him for doing this. So I want to give him this moment to say this prayer for us. Here's our army. Here's our army. It's my fault. That's our fault. They will not write. They will not write. When I got out here, I just felt at home, man. Being back on this grass, so many memories. Going against all my friends, some of the rival teams, all that, man. Just being super nervous like I was this morning, but then getting out here and realizing that it's just football and everything's gonna be fine and just come out here and have fun, man. And it was exactly like that exact same feeling that I had, man. And it's just a blessing to just be back here giving back to the community. I take it to him. I take it to him. I do my thing. I do my thing. Amen. 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 Good work, man. I appreciate you. The first training camp practice for the Houston Texans in 2024. The very first training camp practice for any NFL team. The Texans are getting started before everybody else. So Christmas is here early. Training camp is here and the magic of 2024 is about to begin. Let's get Money Man right here. Let's get him, y'all. What's up? And we back, baby. Smell 
Everybody showed up. I ain't think they gonna show up with the rain. Nah, they gonna yeah, out here. They don't matter. They here. On today, making some plays. Let's go. The technique, the technique. See when it's right. Here we go. Hey, next group, next group. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Jog it off, jog it off, jog it off, jog it off, jog it off. All the way on. Good job, good job, good job. Good job, good job. Way to finish. Good job, good job. We go, special team, special team, special team, special team. Walk them out. Make sure everybody understands. Yeah. We on the red zone. So, so what you think the offense is trying to do? The difference is, but we always set the tempo. They got to right. match your energy, not the yeah. other way around. So. You know it. Man, the relationship with D'Amico, you know, in San Francisco uh, truly was like a, a father figure. You know, I think when we first got together, you know, he was really, really hard and disciplined uh, with me. I think it would rub me the wrong way at times. Over time, our relationship just started to blossom, um, and you started to realize, like, you know, he's really trying to help me be great. Urgency to communicate, all right? Hey, urgency to communicate faster, much faster. Let's go. So once I was more accepting to that, uh, it kind of just took off from there, and you know, it's a, a, a big reason why I'm the player that I am today. What has me most excited about the 2024 defense? The whole defense, of course. But the D-line, man, all those guys are gearing up, getting ready to go for us, man. And it's going to open up so much stuff that we can do on the D-line, man. And we're all just going to wreak havoc together. Looking forward to be back out there on the football field. You know, this is this long wait in the off season. You get a taste of it during OTAs and then training camp comes, you know. It's football for the next five to six months. So I'm excited about that. Everybody was excited about me coming to this team. And to be honest, it feels just right. It just feels like I belong here. Growing up out here is a team that I I grew up and I watched, you know, seeing the Texans from the inaugural season until now. So I'm really excited to come home and play for a team that I've known. The camaraderie, the togetherness of the team, the relationships, we're all just being one. I think that's been the biggest thing of building the relationships in the building so far. We're the engine of the defense. You know, everything starts with us. So D-line is very important in setting the tone of the game. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun, you know, just everything that, you know, D'Amico instills in us. You know, you talk about Swarm, that whole mindset. It's just like, if everybody is doing that, it's going to be exciting and electric. Just got to take it one day at a time. Like I said, put the work in, but it's going to be a, a whole lot of fun to do it, and I'm excited for that. You know, it's just exciting, you know, when you have a lot of dreams and aspirations and growing up, everybody always talks about, uh, so like 1%, you know, that makes it to the NFL and they start to break down the numbers and the increasingly importance on, you know, academics and education. Like, it's just so much more, you know, to it because I'm that 1%. So uh, you, you see it in your parents' face and just continue to make them happy. All right, here we go. You gotta cut that. <laughs> yeah. I know for me coming in as a rookie, I followed a guy by the name of Aaron Glenn. And I always wondered, like, when I came in as a rookie, he was, I think he was probably like in his 12th year. And I was like, how did he play so much? So I started to just watch him. And I tell you guys, just watch the guys that do it the right way. And that'll keep you in the game. Build relationships with your teammates. That's one thing I can tell you about these guys. We love being around each other. We always have a great time when we're around each other because we build, we stay close when we play together. There we go. Oh, that's in the order. Nah, that was terrible. Performing under pressure. Tap into every resource that you have here while you have it. That would be my major advice. As a rookie in the league, tap into every resource that the league provides, the Texans provide, 
the relationships that you was talking about earlier, like tap into those people that you come across with and those resources that you have available to you because they always will not be there. And if you tap into them now and utilize them to the best of your ability, you'll have a 10-year career, a 12-year career, however long that you want that career to be. The advice that was given up here by these men is, is the type of self that it's the, it's the true cheat code. You've got to find a way to wake up in the morning to understand that the opportunity of today is the only opportunity. So go make the most of it. I love it here, especially as my teammates. These guys, they're, they're really great, great guys. They came and took all the rookies under their wings, and I've been learning from them day in, day out, and I say it's really been good. It's a family. Iron Sharpens Iron is brought to you by Houston Methodist, the official health care provider for the Houston Texans. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. It's hard, to, it's hard to do everything, but as much as we can do, maybe that'll be that step that that, that man or that young man that we had in here earlier, a 20-year-old, to right his ship and get on the right path. Man, that would be the, that's the end story that we're all looking for. And it's not easy. It's not just a one, you know, one day at a barbershop being to fix it all, but if we can get that done, getting them a fresh start might just be the trick. This is the third annual Coach's Cuts, and this is the time that we uh, kind of wanted to go to the streets a little bit. Um, instead of doing the masses, we thought about getting a, a smaller group of men coming to one of our uh, barber's shops here at Empire Studio and bring these men into here and have them from a complete makeover, top to bottom. We, uh, we just thought about, hey, maybe we can do a lot for a small group of people and really get them started. Today's about you guys. We're take care of you guys. Here's what it is. How, much, how great can today be? And let's make tomorrow even better, you know what I mean? So get y'all cleaned up today. We got dentist, shower, we got brand new clothes for everybody. Get your top to bottom cut. Anything you guys need, we're here for you. And let's get it started, man. And I'm just I'm thankful for you guys. I'm excited to get this thing going. Thank you so much. You give it you give some of our players uh, a, a, a dap or a high five on the football field, it might feel a little different. You bring somebody um, you know into an environment like this and an event like this. So Troy Hairston, Aziz Kane, Ben Skoranek, uh, D'Angelo Ross, and Desmond King were out here, uh, and they jumped at the opportunity. And then you give them a dap here, and the hug felt a little bit different, a little stronger. You can tell that they have real care in their lives. They, got, they might have peace in their hearts about what they're doing, but they understand they got to help inspire others. Um, Aziz has, has walked this life and um, has been an inspiration in talking to these men. For me, it was people doing the exact same thing for me that, you know, sparked me to be where I am today. Like, I don't think people understand, like, the smallest act of kindness, you know, you just treating somebody like a human being, uh, treating somebody with respect and, like, humbling yourself to not think, like, you're better than the next person or, you know, because you're in the NFL or you had this big old title that you're somehow not human anymore. Uh, in actuality, we're all the same. So I think just making people feel seen some of these guys haven't sat down and had a conversation with somebody, genuine conversation, and God knows how long. So uh, it means a lot to me, and it also means a lot to them. So We're not just football players, not just football coaches. It's been special to see the heart of these men and willing to share it to others in our community. So I'm thankful. I can't even tell you enough how thankful I am for those guys that showed up here for a little haircut event today. in the AFC. For the Texans side, they are right in there for one of the teams to beat. Houston Texans are a wagon. Oh, it could be really dynamic. It was last year. If they hit on all cylinders, I think they could be the best offense in football. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's telling all over the room, man, all over the field.
explosive uh, creativity, you know, um, excitement. You know, we, we want to be that, that offensive team, man, that, that set the tone. <laughs> Good. Even though it's only been a year, like we've built a lot of, you know, really great, unique bonds. Um, and I wanted to be a part of something special, and I think we're building something special here. Everyone, everyone who came, man, it's been great. Everybody been in the locker room, you know, we've been locked in, you know, joking. That's where it started, it started in the locker room. So we've been joking around with each other, just having a great time. And then when we get on the field, you know, everybody like to work hard and everybody know the end goal. So it's just been amazing. All right, y'all, let Rocky. What's up? You're good. Hey, you're good. As you look around, like we have a very young locker room. Um, we're young in a lot of positions, and so I think, you know, the future can be the most exciting, you know, thing when you're able to kind of have some success early like that. Uh, I felt like we we started this thing off right in OTAs, and um, you know, one thing that I feel like you know, D'Amico hit on every day is you know, iron sharpening iron. Um, we got a lot of great guys on defense that. Um, do whatever they can, man, to make things happen. A lot of playmakers over there, and um, you know, offense. On offense, we got a lot of firepower stars that uh, you know, whether it's proven guys in the league or you know, young guys coming in like Tank and things like that. CJ. Um, I mean, it's just a hell of a thing that we didn't build over here, man. And to be a part of something this special, um, it's everything to me. And I can't do nothing but do whatever I can, man. To, make the most out of it. We just continue to be ourselves, continue to uh, build, you know, stronger bonds with each other, man, and uh, play for one another, man. Go out on Sundays and just have fun. I got you. Oh, <laughs> Certain times, like, I feel like we haven't even began to hit the, hit the stride yet, you know what I mean? And, Going into year two in this offense, um, Slow is already working on, you know, making things easier for us, making things faster, um, coming up with quicker ways to get adjustments and really detailing some of the, you know, some of the stuff that we didn't do as well last year as we would have liked to. And so I'm excited to just see how we build on, on the good stuff, but also like how we kind of, you know, work back and, and build on some of the foundational pieces that I think we'll lean on this year. Coach, um, he preached, man, just had that relentless mindset. You know, Coach Miko, that's our mindset, man, just be relentless. You know, um, when you get that ball on the sideline, don't round the bounds, man, lower your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? It's just that mindset, you know, that, you know, D'Amico brings, that Coach Bobby slowly brings, man, like, play for each other, you know, have that dog. They want you right there, have that dog mentality about you, man, and um, I feel like there's, there's no better feeling than that. You know, go out there with that energy, set the tone, man, and um, I feel like once, once the team sees that everybody playing together, jumping around, bringing the energy, you know, that's, that's, that's hard to beat, you know, that's hard to go against, man. I feel like just for us, continue to be ourselves and have fun and enjoy the moment. I'm excited about this year, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. You know, a lot of weapons in the room, man. And, uh, can't wait. Drafted rookie. When we started to compete against somebody else, it's basically like playing a game. You're getting used to just being in the league first off. Now going against somebody else, it's kind of giving you like a little, you know, quiz before the big test. Hey, first timers tonight. Hey, this is a special time, man. Remember this right now. Texas on three. One, two, three. Texas. Welcome to the Houston Texans 2024 season. As today, the Houston Texans are in Canton, Ohio, site of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, to take on the Chicago Bears. It's our first look at the 2024 Houston Texans, the first big stop on a weekend that will culminate with Texans great Andre Johnson's induction into the Showcase of the Immortals, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. 
It's Texans football, and it's so great to have you listening all over the Lone Star State and beyond. Second and six across the Bear 10. Mills in the gun. Gets the snap. Pumps. Now fires right side. Has Quatoriano. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Mills to Tegan Quatoriano. They find six. Mills fakes to give Mills in trouble. Steps out to his right now, buys a little more time. Throws it back across the left side. It's caught at the 40-yard line of Chicago. Going high in the air for it. Skoranek dumps it off to Akers. Does he have a block? Spin move, 40, 35. Akers still going. Dives across the 30 for a first down. Bears showing blitz. Here's the snap. They rush four. Keenum floats one downfield to his right. And Hutchinson with another great catch. Steps out of bounds at the eight-yard line. First and goal. Here's the snap to Case Keenum on second and goal. Throws left, got a man, touchdown, Houston Cam Akers. Finishes the drive with a TD reception. We have news from the NFL that this game is over as we did not make it out of the third quarter with the bad weather arriving earlier than anticipated. So with three and change left in the third, Texans down 21-17. This one ends. In these games, I just look for guys to go out and execute their job. You learn from it and you build from it. You see how guys, where they start, it's not about where they start. It's about how they show up next week. So that's what I'm most excited to see is how guys show up the following week. Andre, you know, he shared a lot of knowledge with me. It's going to be great just seeing him being able to go into the Hall of Fame. He's a GOAT for a reason. In his organization, man, around the league, you know, he's one of the best receivers. Andre Johnson becomes the first on the road, Houston, Texas, to become a Hall of Famer.